Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Well, congratulations to Uwali. He just beat Rashid Warren a second time. He also beat him in the Olympics. He eliminated him in the Olympics, and now he beats him as a pro. It was a tight fight, at least in the first half. They went back and forth. Awali, he applied a lot of intelligent pressure. And what I mean when I say intelligent pressure is he applies pressure without leaving himself open. Because almost every time Rashid Warren tried to attack him, he blocked almost all the punches, at least in the first half. Now, Rashid Warren, he did manage to hurt him earlier on. Rashid was doing real good with his jab in the first half. But what I didn't like with Warren is almost every time he attacked, he attacked with his chin up in the air. And that's crazy because Rashid, he has over 300 amateur fights. I'm surprised that he would have a bad habit like that. Almost every time he did that, he would get clipped by Awali. I think if Rashid Warren would have switched it up every once in a while and came in with the high guard, he would have been a lot more effective. He would have been able to set up an attack and land more punches. But he kept trying to come in with his hands down and use body movement, moving side to side and trying to pot shot, but that wasn't effective because he was leaving himself open with his chin up. But anyway, um, after the fight, Rashid Warren, he pretty much admitted that he thought he fell short. You know, he said he took his foot off the gas uh, towards the end of the fight, and that's what it is. So Rashid Warren goes back to the drawing board, and now Owali is a champion. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to watch this Badu Jack versus um, Brown fight. And I'm going to try to go ahead and live stream the actual Pacquiao versus Broner fight. All right. So I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Yep.